So this here is the sarcomere and the different components of the sarcomere. So this right here, this is the Z disc. This is what anchors the actin um, filaments. And then this middle part right here, this is the M line. And then we have the H zone, which is right here where it's just the thick filaments only. Um, <clears throat> so the different, the thin filaments, the different, the different components. <clears throat> so this green part, this is troponin. The yellow um, part that wraps around, that's tropomyosin. The red part, that's the actin filaments, okay? So this right here, this is the thick filaments, and then these are what's called the myosin heads. So what happens in order to, um, for a muscle contraction, the sarcomere has to shorten. So it goes from this position, and then it goes this way, right, towards the M line. But in order for this to happen, um, calcium needs to bind to troponin. Once calcium binds to troponin, it unravels the tropomyosin. And the reason that it, the tropomyosin unravels is because the myosin heads cannot bind to actin unless the active site is, is, is exposed. So we need calcium in order to initiate this process. All right, so once the tropomyosin unravels, the myosin head attaches to actin and then it starts to bring it closer towards the M line. So this would be the muscle contraction and the contracted state and this is in the relaxed state. And that's it.